this is the way to end the pandemic. So I think as uh, healthcare uh, providers, you know, we, you know, we should lead the way in, in taking the vaccine. Healthcare workers will lead the way as the first recipients of the COVID vaccine that's already reached the doors of some New Jersey hospitals. The very first U.S. dose was already administered in Queens today to Sandra Lindsay, an ICU nurse in Long Island. Judy and I will be in Newark alongside University Hospital President Dr. Sharif El Nahal and others to witness some of our heroic frontline healthcare workers receive the first vaccinations against COVID-19 in New Jersey. As the morning continues, our other health systems and hospitals statewide will begin vaccinating their frontline healthcare workers as well. Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick is among the six hospitals prepped and ready for that first tranche to land. Here, the main lobby has been turned into an inoculation center for staff. Each team member will have to schedule an appointment online. They will go to their check-in, will be their first station where they will be asked a few questions. From there, they'll have an opportunity to go to our briefing station. That's where they'll be able to ask a provider questions about the EUA. The EUA is the emergency use authorization the FDA gave last week for Pfizer to begin distributing the vaccine. Moderna is also waiting for FDA approval on its vaccine. Approval could be as early as the end of this week. The state's first tranche will have 76,050 doses, and each recipient will need two, taken 21 days apart. But hospitals are unsure of their allotments. So how long will it take to vaccinate the entire first group, the 1A community? We anticipate this going through uh, at least, you know, the next two months or so. There will be a tiered system even within the hospital to determine who will get the vaccine first. But many questions remain as to what this rollout will actually look like because it's unclear how many vaccines will be available right off the bat. The physicians in New Jersey were polled and 86% of physicians said they would take the vaccination. Um, I think that just tells you the medical community has faith in the process that occurred to get this vaccination to market. Once they took the competition away and once the dollars flowed, um, the science was there and they were able to work together and, and create this uh, spectacular uh, innovation for us. Dr. John Bonamo says the unique collaboration between scientists, researchers, and pharma companies makes this vaccine totally different than anything we've seen before. But some are still skeptical, especially in communities of color where the virus has been deadly. Several black and brown leaders are starting an education campaign urging their communities to take the vaccine, with Newark Mayor Roz Baraka saying he'll be in line to take it when his turn comes. These numbers will not magically return to zero because we're about to provide our first vaccinations. For us to reach the level of so-called herd immunity among adults that we aspire to do, it will require at least 70, 70 percent of New Jersey's adults to be vaccinated. That is roughly, for those of you keeping score at home, 4.7 million of us. The arrival of the vaccine may feel like the light at the end of the pandemic tunnel, but there's still a long road ahead before nearly 5 million people are vaccinated. In New Brunswick, I'm Joanna Gagas, NJ Spotlight News.